In this video, I'm going to show you how to copy or migrate views from one Airtable to another Airtable and also one Airtable to another table that's in a completely different base and the different configurations you need to do that. For this, I'm going to be using Integromat as our internet glue to accomplish this task. Let's get started. In this example, we have an air table called T-Town and we have a table called sales. This table has orders, some are pending, some are fulfilled. Our goal is to move the fulfilled sales out of this sales table into an archive. There are two different archives we could move this to. One archive is moving it simply to another table in the same air table base. So that would be moving it from sales to sales archive. And another option would be going into sales here, moving it to T-Town archive, a completely different base. So in our first workflow, we're going to be moving it from one table to another table. You might want to do this because, you know, over time, I don't need to see these fulfilled orders. Um, you know, over time, they're just going to grow and grow and grow and I just want to archive them. They're going to be fulfilled. I never have to maybe look at these again, but maybe I want to archive them and keep them around for reporting or analytics or something. So we're going to go ahead and move those. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to jump into Integromat. I'm going to create my first action with Airtable, and that's going to be to search records. For this example, I want to only return records that are in this view called archive. I've created an archive view with a simple filter where status equals fulfilled to ensure that we only move and delete records that have a status of fulfilled. So I'm going to go back into Integromat here. I'm going to select T-Town, select my sales table. We could also do this with formulas for this example. I'm just going to use a view for simplicity. So we've selected our view archive. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run this once to see what data returns. Nice. I have a nice collection of data that's returned the records I want to migrate. So I'm going to create another action. Action number two is going to be a create. So we're going to go here. We're going to select the same base and we're going to select the sales archive table. Now this base has identical fields as the sales table. So we're just going to do a mapping one to one. So my purchases, I'm going to map to the purchases array channel. I'm going to map to channel and customer. I'm going to map to customer and I don't need status, but I could map status. It, it, it will always be fulfilled, but we'll go ahead and map it anyways. Now, our third step is going to be to delete the original record. So now that we've copied that record to a new table, we don't need it anymore. That's the goal. So we're going to select a delete function and we're going to go ahead and delete that record. So I'm going to go to T-Town. I'm going to go to sales and I'm going to select the record ID from the search and simply say OK. Now in Integromat, I like to name these. So I'm going to say find sales to archive is the first step. Step number two is copy to archive table. Step number three is delete original record. So let's go ahead and run this. Now let's take a look at our base one last time. We've got our sales items in archive and then we have our empty or our sales yep, in archive view and then we have our empty sales archive table. So I'm going to click run and it's going to go ahead and execute that move those tables or those records and now notice our goal is complete 
in our sales view, we only have pending items anymore. All of the other records have been deleted. And if we go to sales archive, we have a nice archive of these records. So we could add permissions or do other things with this table to say, don't touch these records. This is for archival purposes only. And we can go about our business and sales. Now, over time, we might realize that, you know, we're making tens of thousands of sales and our database is getting cluttered. Even with having it in sales archive, these records still count against your base totals. So we might want to, might want to move this to an entirely different base. All right, so this automation is gonna start the same. We're gonna go into Airtable. We're gonna say search for T-Town and we wanna look at the sales and we wanna look at the view of archive. And our second option is we want to create a record. Now I just wanna pause there for a second and go over one thing. When you are moving records from one base to a different base, you lose references of the record IDs. To further complicate things, our database had a lot of linking tables, channel, customer, status. So those are actually just record IDs, even though they're viewed, you're viewing the name of them, they're record IDs, and we don't want that for our archive. Uh, for, for this simple example, we don't wanna also have to sync up customers and products and channels, we just want the sales. So I created three lookup fields, and these simply look up the name of purchases, the name of channel, and the name of customer. Because we just wanna bring over the names, we don't need the linking references for, for this example. In addition to that, when we go to the T-Town archive, then these are no longer linking tables, they're simply strings that can carry the data that we're gonna return. So, with that example being said, Let's go ahead and run this search. We actually have to, let's just go back and get some get some records back in here. So let me restore, restore, restore. Okay, so now we've got three records that need to migrate. We're going to go in Integromat here. We're gonna run our search record. I always like to run these individually as I'm building this to make sure the data comes back right. So now we see our data and you'll notice here what I was speaking to. If we simply kept purchases, channel, and customer, these are just record IDs, we want the name. These, these aren't gonna be known by our new base. So we simply want the names. So that's why we created those links. So now we're gonna map those names. Go ahead and create that record go to T-Town Archive, go to the table Sales Archive, and Purchases, we're gonna map to Arc underscore Purchases, Channel, Arc underscore Channel, I'm sorry, and Customer is going to be Arc underscore Customer, and price we can just map directly. So now that we've done that, we again are gonna add that last piece, which is deleting the original record. We're gonna go to T-Town. We're going to go to Sales. And we're gonna select the record ID from that search. And we just wanna delete that. So let's rename these for visibility, find records to archive. We're gonna rename this, create copy in new base, delete original record. 
and let's go ahead and click run once to run our scenario and there we go scenarios run so now if we go into sales in t-town we'll notice our records are gone and if we go into t-town archive we have three brand new records so there's the video for you i hope you found it useful these are only two ways to archive copy move files from one base to another or even across workspaces uh, there's it would be another option that you could use with Airtable blocks that would be a manual process right now you'd have to click a button archive but that is another way you could do that without using an internet glue like Integromat but I like Integromat because it's extremely simple you don't need to know JavaScript to do any of the more advanced moving scenarios so that's it for the video in the show notes I will leave a link to the blueprints so if you are go planning on migrating you could take those blueprints and download them into your own Integromat and map it to your Airtable database and you can migrate yourself but that'll give you a head start see you in the next video